Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Abuaje and I am the voice of the silent majority. You are welcome to the Passion Achievers. Today we are looking at study tips and hacks for students. And so if you're a student and you've had the opportunity to watch this video, then please hold on. It's about to get interesting. This is the Passion Achievers. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do that now. And don't forget to click on the bell for any notification anytime you post a new video. As I said, today we are looking at study tips and hacks for students. And so if you're a student and you're watching this video, please don't go anywhere. This is the first episode for this particular series that we have for students and everybody who wants to study something to improve him or herself. Now, as we all know, you can study for one hour, you can study for two hours, but the most important thing in your studies is for you to study effectively. And so if you study all these hours and your mood of studying is not effective, then it becomes useless. And so that is why we are bringing you all these tips and hacks when it comes to studying so that as a student, you'll be able to study the right way. And so if you're a first year, this is a video that you can't afford to miss. If you're a continuing student as well, this video is for you because we are going to teach you all the hacks that will help you to be able to study effectively and pass all your examinations. Now, because this is the first episode, we want to look at the importance of effective study habits. The importance of effective study habits. Effective study habits and techniques play a crucial role in maximizing learning outcomes for several reasons. If you're able to study effectively, there are several reasons why it is going to help you to improve yourself as a student. And the first reason is that it helps you in retention and understanding. If you study effectively, you are able to retain a lot of the information that you study while you are on your way to achieve greatness. And also, it helps to understand it. So the first reason why it is important for you to study effectively is that it helps you to retain most of the information that you study and also to understand the information that you study. This is just by listing the importance of studies or studying effectively. You have time in subsequent episode to explain practically how you can put this together as a student to improve your learning habits. So the reason why studying effectively helps you to retain most of the information and understand most of the information that you are studying is that you have to know how to study as an active learner. And you have to know how to space your learning. And you have to know how to do regular review. These are some things that if you do, will help you to retain most of the information that you study and also to understand it. As I said, this is just by mentioning them, you have time to discuss all of these to help you as a student. And so these habits promote deeper engagement with the content. And also it makes it easier to recall and apply the knowledge when needed. And so if you're able to study actively and also space your repetition and regular review of what you are studying, then it helps you to be able to engage with the content that you are studying and it also makes it easier for you to recall and apply the knowledge that you have studied. So that is the first reason why studying effectively is very, very important. The second reason why it is important for you to study effectively is that it helps you in time management. As a student, your main focus is to study. But because you don't know how to study effectively, sometimes you ask yourself, I don't have time to study this course, I don't have time to do this, I don't have the time to do that. You know that is not the only thing you're coming to do on campus. You have your personal life, you have your social life, you have your academic life, you have your spiritual life. In fact, you have so many things that you're supposed to do. There are people who even venture into business while on campus. And so if you don't know how to study effectively, then at the end of the day, you won't be able to manage your time well. So the second reason why it is important for you to study effectively is that it helps you in time management. And under time management, you are going to discuss creating a steady schedule. 
you should know when to study what. And so if you don't know that, anytime you say you don't have time to study because you don't know how to study effectively. And so we're going to tell you how to create a schedule for your studies. Know when to study this particular course, know when to do, go for this program, know when to do this and know when to do that. That is why it's important for you to watch this video and also take everything that you are saying seriously because it's a practical example they're going to give you. This is not just theory. They're going to give you practical examples of why it is important to study effectively. And also when you are studying effectively, it's going to help you to set realistic goals. Sometimes you go and say, now you want to say, oh, I want to read 30 pages within one hour. You ask yourself, is that realistic goal? And so we're going to help you to be able to set realistic goals to help you in your studies so you'll be able to study effectively. And also we're going to help you to prioritize your tasks. If you are studying a course that is six credit hours, four credit hours, how do you know the difference? And how do you know which course to study and for how long to even study that particular course? So if you do this in your time management, it's going to help you to be able to manage your time very well as a student. Now, the third reason why it is important for you to study effectively is that it helps you in focus and concentration. Sometimes a student will sit behind a book for one hour, for two hours. But you ask yourself, how focused or concentrated were you during this period? And that is why someone will just spend 30 minutes behind a book and the person will get a lot of information out of it. But you sit behind a book for three hours and still you don't even understand what you studied because you are not studying effectively. And so under focus and concentration, you are also going to look at how you are going to be able to minimize distractions. Sometimes because of the study environment, that is why you are not able to even maximize on the time that you are using to study. And so you look at minimizing distraction. And then also, you look at creating a conducive study environment. Is your room conducive enough? Is the library conducive enough? Where can you study effectively? You look at all of that in our discussion. And also, you look at practicing mindfulness. When you sit behind your book, how do you know that whatever you are studying, you are really paying attention, you are focused on what you are studying. You have to be mindful of the things that you are studying. So under focus and concentration, we're also going to look at all of these to make you good when it comes to studying effectively. Now, the fourth reason why it is important for you to study effectively is that it helps you in your organization and preparedness. How do you even take news when a lecturer is lecturing? How do you create a steady guide for yourself? How do you organize your materials? You get a student going to sit down to study, and every five minutes, the student is standing up to go and take a pencil, to go and take a pen, to go and do this, go and drink water. Why? You don't know how to study effectively. And so we are going to help you to be able to organize yourself and prepare yourself when you are studying so that you can make good use of the time in your studies. So that is one thing that we're going to look under organization and preparedness. And the final thing that we're going to do to also let you know how important studying effectively is that when you're able to study effectively, you are motivated. You are motivated. So you're going to look at motivation and engagement. Because you are not able to study effectively, sometimes you get discouraged. Oh, me, if I sit behind the book for 30 minutes uh, or even two hours, still I will not be able to understand it. So, me, today I will not go, I will not go to the library. It's because you don't have the tips and how to help you study effectively. And so, when we give you all these tips, you will realize that it is important for you to study effectively. And that is going to give you some sense of motivation to keep on studying because. Of course, that is the reason why you are on campus, to study effectively. And so the final thing that you need to look at is how important studying effectively is going to motivate you and give you some sense of engagement when you are preparing for your studies. And so yes, this is just the first episode of the study tips and hacks for students. If you want to continue enjoying some of these tips, that will help you as a student to be able to study effectively, then of course, you have no other option than to subscribe to our YouTube channel and always come there for all these tips. We are going to give you the practical examples of how to do all of these things so that you'll be able to benefit as a student. Once again, my name is Jeff Abuaji and I am the voice of the silent majority.